what is up guys redneck dude here back again with another video uh before we get into this video i do have a couple important announcements to make or just like things i gotta say um this video is gonna look a little weird uh usually i use playstation remote play like playstation remote play to film my videos but in this particular one it wasn't working it was being finicky so i had to record with the tripod in front of my monitor so the ratios may look a little weird and then so can like some like the, the screen stuff it's a little oversaturated so i do apologize for that also i'm getting a ps5 soon so that, that's an announcement also i'm going to be going on a cruise this week so i will not be uploading because i don't have i will not have a signal and uh yeah so there's gonna be a little context needed for this story so this story is about my grandma but i always grew up just calling her my nana so i'm gonna be referring to her as nana uh so don't get confused this story also takes place during the 60s or 70s i don't remember but smoking was just a normal thing so my nana was a smoker so she used she worked for the government i don't actually know what she worked for i knew she worked in a government building well at this time you know most places had a no smoking rule so you couldn't smoke in the building you know at your desk or whatever you can only smoke in the bathrooms which that makes sense but my nana didn't take nothing from anybody um to put it lightly i guess she was a very no bs type of person she's kind of calmed down a little bit now but back then she was super sassy so one day my nana is smoking at her desk and her boss comes up to her and tells her like hey you can't be smoking here this is like you can't be smoking inside we've gotten a couple complaints and we're gonna have to ask you to go somewhere else now my nana is rightfully angry right because she doesn't want to have to go into the bathroom every time she wants to smoke because she was like a chain smoker i mean it wasn't healthy but this is how she was but because somebody had complained about her smoking she had to go somewhere else now, I'm not a girl, but I've been into a couple girls' bathrooms just to, like, clean them and stuff, like, at, at my school or whatever. A little bit of context, I, not a school, it's more of a co-op. I'm homeschooled, and I go into co-op once a week. It's like a church, and we have to clean up afterward. So, I. long story short, there's usually benches in women's bathrooms. Generally, these bathrooms are really nicer than men's bathrooms for some reason, which I'm kind of jealous of. So, anyways, my nana is really, really mad. So, for a while, she's just going into the bathroom, angrily smoking, which, thought of somebody angrily smoking a cigarette is just very funny to me. So, my nana went up to her boss and was talking about trying to get the thing reversed. So, at that time, there was a jail down the road, and all the inmates were allowed to smoke in the jail. So, my nana's response to this was like, well, why can the inmates smoke inside, but I can't? Like, I've no I haven't committed a crime. And her boss just kind of waved her off because, once again, this was back in the 60s and 70s when, like, women didn't actually have rights. They were kind of just objects, which d annoys me. But anyways, her boss is like, no, I'm not going to reverse this thing. It's your, you, you can't smoke at your desk. This is final. You see, and this is when my bo her, her boss made a grave mistake. He said, he said, if you don't like it, you can just move your desk in the bathroom so you can smoke at your desk. See, now obviously he was joking here, right? He wasn't actually expecting my Nana to do it. But because my Nana was a feisty woman in the 60s, she decided to move her desk to the bathroom. So really quickly, I just want you to visualize this, all right? Imagine going into the bathroom, you know, at work. You gotta go take a leak. You, you walk in and you just see a random lady just having her desk set up. And obviously back then, computers were like massive, right? So this wasn't a very small desk either. And my Nana was taking phone calls and stuff while also being in the bathroom. And once again, all of this was just so she could smoke, which like that takes serious either dedication or addiction. Well, eventually the same person who complained about her smoking at her desk complained to her boss about her smoking in the bathroom. And obviously her boss was like, well, you're allowed to smoke in the bathroom. But then he realized that she had set up her whole desk in the bathroom. So obviously, he told her to move it, and she just said no. And my Nana was probably one of the most productive people at this uh, establishment. So she told him that she could either he could either reverse the rules and let her smoke, or she would quit. 
Well, the problem was she couldn't be smoking out in the public with all the cubicles and stuff. She either had to have her own office or she had to just be in the bathroom. So her boss told her that she could move into a better office. But the office that they wanted to move her into was really small, so she said no. Well, the boss was kind of at a, at a, in a corner here. Because he could either lose his best employee or he could give up his office. Well, long story short, my nana ended up working there for a couple of years after that. So the boss ended up giving his fancy smancy big wig office to my nana. And my nana says that she remembers when everybody was complaining that, that Jackie got the big nice office. And every time somebody asked about it, she just said, oh, yeah, no, because I have the best performance because that's... It was semi-true. So that's how my nana found a way to get her boss to give up his office. So that's going to do it for today's story, but I still do have a couple other things I have to say. So if you only came for the story, you can just go now. So if you guys noticed, I've been using Vita, the editing software, on my videos, and you can kind of see it down in the corner. I've been thinking of switching back to iMovie. But I really don't know because I do edit all of my videos from my phone and I publish them from my phone. And in between takes, I have to take a couple of ten. I have to take like ten seconds to put my phone up against a fan to cool it off, otherwise it overheats and shuts down. I don't have a computer and I use an iPhone Seven, which once again my nana actually gave me, which I really do appreciate. But if anybody knows a better editing software than iMovie that doesn't have a watermark on it, I would really appreciate that in the comments. Also, I'm going to be doing a Q&A live stream pretty soon. I don't know when exactly it's going to be, but I am going to be doing it soon. So if you do want to see that, turn on post notifications. It won't be out for another week or two. I'm filming this, I'm filming this video on Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. So I'm going to be gone for a week. So you can do the math on that. I'm also going to be making a video about a, a cruise that I'm going on. So look out for that one too. But this is probably going to be my last full video of the summer because, once again, I have a lot of stuff going on and have had a lot of stuff going on this summer. So overall, it's just really busy. I hope that I've been keeping y'all kind of entertained. Uh, I've been posting a lot of shorts recently, which haven't been performing too, too well. And uh, once again, if you guys haven't already, please do like that. Click that like button and subscribe to my channel because it would really, really help out. And if you have any feedback, constructive criticism, or if you just want to, just if you just want to give me a piece of your mind, just put that down in the comments. Any bit of support helps, and I am a really small channel, and I am trying to grow. So even just a like on the video would be really appreciated. Also, if you want to add me on Fortnite, my name is Redneck Dash Dude. It's my same thing as my YouTube. I was playing with my brother in this clip, and. I ended up dropping a 20 bomb, which I think is pretty good. But that's basically going to do it for today's video. It wasn't much and it didn't take me very long to edit, but I did hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, once again, leave a like in the com and leave a like and please leave a comment. If you didn't, leave a dislike, but also leave a comment too. That'd be appreciated. But that's about it. Make sure you use hashtag YouTube Please Pay Me on your shorts and have a great rest of your day. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye. Oh!